Okay. Um, pretty difficult to uh, have an opening statement because it's been a while since we played a game like that. So not a very good feeling. Um, they beat us in all phases. Um, you know, I thought physically they played extremely hard. Um, we didn't match the intensity. Felt like we got pushed around. We were not able to run the ball. They ran the ball. They made competitive plays, outcoached us, outplayed us in every area. So overall, just a very deflating victory, uh, uh, defeat. You know, they kicked our butts. Questions? Josh Moore, go ahead. Hey, Mark. What, I know you shook up the routine. Did. I mean, I don't know. I guess start with Will with with him. What was what was up tonight? It just seemed like he never was really on. Um, you yeah, know, most of the game. He, he was definitely not comfortable. I think they, you know, do a nice job of mixing some things up. I thought he went back to uh, pressing, rushing uh, some things, uh, forcing forcing the issue right from early in the game. So uh, you know. It's not just him. We didn't play very good anywhere. John Hale. Mark, I think you said on your radio show earlier this week that you thought they had learned from that Chattanooga game what happens when you have a, a letdown performance. Was this more of that, or was that some? Was there something else going on tonight? I, I really don't know. It's hard to put my finger on it. Um, I felt like we had good preparation. I felt, you know, I think uh, you have to give them credit. They, they were very physical. You, we knew that coming into it. You know, you look at their defense and the, the way they mix it up, the way they put pressure on you. Um, you know, I knew that coming into it, and uh, they did. And, um, you know, and then for us, um, you know, on the other side of the ball, for us defensively, just completely didn't make uh, – didn't seem like we made one competitive play, at least down the field. You know, some of our guys up front – uh, maybe did some good things, but uh, anytime they throw as efficiently as they did, um, you know, they ran it just enough to keep us off balance, but uh, they moved the chains. And, you know, when you give up what we have four turnovers, when you have to turn the ball over like that against the offense uh, like this and on the road, you got no shot. So um, just overall, no good across the board. Larry Vaught. Mark, did it surprise you the lack of physicalness by your defense? It seemed like they, the Mississippi State ran through a lot of tackles or just ran by your guys an awful lot tonight. Yeah, it did. It did. Uh, very frustrating. And uh, I just said that to the team that, uh, you know, that's um, very uncharacteristic and that's not going to happen. We may lose, uh, you know, we may get beat, but uh, – I didn't like the intensity that we played with, the physicality that we played with. I felt like we were pushed around, and uh, that's not a good feeling. Derek Terry. Mark, you guys rotated a lot of defensive guys in, you know, even early in the game. Guys maybe haven't played a ton of snaps this year. Was, was that just matchup-based or some other reason for that? Yeah, we, we just uh, – we're, you know, getting really thin. You know, we're getting really thin, and uh, uh, some of it was matchup. Um, you know, with, you know, putting JJ in there inside and um, just bodies in uh, and Jordan Wright got hurt. Uh, I don't know. I think it was the first half, but uh, just getting thin. John Clay. Mark, uh, Chris Rodriguez with the fumbles. Is he dealing with anything physically or do you think it just gotten into his head at this point? Uh, he was dealing with something this week, um, but no excuses. Um, you know, I think uh, with the fumble, there was a combination of things on that play. We got blown up at tackle, uh, you know, pressure in the backfield. The handoff looked a little high, but uh, not very good. Josh Moore. Mark, with their quarter, sorry if you can't hear me. With the quarterback, their quarterback, 
I mean, I know some of the, the one-on-one stuff there and the tackles, and but was there anything in particular that he was doing besides, you know, I mean, his completion rate, I mean, it was really high. Yeah, it was uh, exceptionally high. Um, you know, I did a really nice job of, of you know, holding in the pocket. He hit uh, just enough uh, down the seams uh, to hurt us with some explosives. And then uh, they did a really nice job of hitting some uh, some check downs and running through us, you know, physically there on the perimeter as well. John Hale. Mark, at halftime on the broadcast, Mike Leach said that you guys were simulating their snap count, which was the reason for all the false starts. Was there anything to that? Uh, no, you're not allowed to simulate their, their snap count. Larry Vaught. Yeah, t- talk a little about the, the, the punt return that Josh Ali had, but but then he wasn't much of a factor in, in the passing game. What was the reason for that, Mark? Well, um, you know, it's hard to put your finger on it why he wasn't uh, more of a factor in the past game. I think, you know, as I mentioned this week, coming back, um, you know, you'd like to see him be at full tilt, uh, but uh, anytime you're coming back from a knee injury and you're playing wide receiver, I think it's hard to be at full speed and have that complete 100% trust, um, you know, in the first game back. Hopefully he'll feel better and better. I need to probably watch the film there, Larry, to get a more accurate uh, assessment of his play at wide receiver. Uh, but that was certainly a big play for us early with the punt return, and I knew we would need it, um, you know, some, some you know, plays. And certainly we needed some uh, turnovers, and we didn't get that this year. Um and, uh, you know, with that offense, you got to have, you know, uh, some stops, you know, get a tip, get a deflection, get a strip. We didn't get any of that. The punt return helped. And then, uh, obviously, on the other side of the ball, I was turning it over, giving to them a uh, very, very uh, bad combination there. John Wong. Mark, on the fourth down, when you decided to kick it, that stopped them all day. What was going through your mind in terms of that decision? Uh, wasn't ready to give up at that point. I mean, you know, we tried to get a stop and, you know, uh, nothing, nothing really worked, John. At that point, if we give it up, then it's a complete give up. You know, if we don't get the first down, it's over. Nick? The air raid, quote unquote, actually outran you all. What went wrong uh, in the rushing game, both offensively and defensively? Uh, they were more physical than us. You know, they uh, ran it uh, 35 times. You know, that's that's definitely probably uh, a record, you know, for Mike in his time at uh, – Mississippi State, but a lot of that had to do with the game. They were killing the clock late and running it effectively, keeping us off balance. Um, you know, we didn't have a lot of good answers. So, um, you know, they did they did a lot better job and they were a lot more physical. So uh, for us, you know, we didn't have a lot of plays. You know, when you're turning it over that many times, when we're letting them possess the ball, uh, it's just, uh, again, uh, put it all together and it's it's not very good. John Clay. Mark, as you said, it's been a while since you've had a game like this. How do you want this particular team to react to that, react to this this coming week? Do you want them to be angry? Do you want them to put their heads down and just go back to work? How do you want it? What do you want to see this week? Well, I mean, we have to address it. You know, we just did. I mean, that's not a good feeling. And uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to have a football team like this. And I don't think these guys want to play that way. Um, you know, that's not who we're going to be. That's not going to be our identity. And, uh, you know, we'll get back to work and get it fixed and make sure we get the right guys out on the field that uh, want to continue to play like we play. John Wong. Mark, you're usually very good at predicting how your team is going to come out. You said how great a week of practice they had. Was there any indication at all that they would pull the stud? No, I think um, it's how you react. You know, we have an opportunity to come out. We go ahead 10 uh, nothing, and feel like you're playing decent. And then, uh, you know, the wheels come off with turnovers and not moving the ball. And, Bad things happen, and it's how you react to it. And we didn't react to it very good. 
All right, Coach, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Quez Jones is with us. If you got questions for Jack Quez, go ahead and raise your hand. John Hale. Jack Quez, Coach Stoops said all week that he thought you guys were practicing really well. How does that, how does a performance like this come from, you know, two good weeks of preparation? Did you see it coming? Uh, not really. It kind of hurt. It kind of hurt. You know, we got to give it to Mississippi State. You know, they came out, they were more physical. They had the most energy. And they just came out with that, and we we didn't respond. Josh Moore. Credited hey, with 18 tackles. I don't know if that number's right, but did it feel like you guys were on the field a lot? Like, did you just – did it kind of – did that weigh on you guys? Uh, A little bit, a little bit. That's, that's on the defense, though. We got to get more three and outs. We got to get off the field quicker. We were on the field way too long. And that's something we got to go in Monday and fix it. We got to get off the field. Larry Vaught. Yeah, John Case, well, why do you think it seemed like there were either a lot of, of missed tackles or, or, the, or the runner or receiver still got value for three, four, five yards after the tackle was made? What, what was going on there, do you think, so much tonight? Really just missed tackle. You know, we can't uh, – that's on us because this past two weeks that we know what we had to do, plant, drive, vice tackle. Vice tackle, and we, do, we didn't do that. And once you let the first man miss and they get the five, six extra yards, that's when they often get the rolling. Nick Roush. What do you guys have to do now that you've lost two in a row in the last three weeks to, to make sure that the it stops next Saturday against Tennessee? I think we just gotta we gotta take a uh, take a step back and look at ourselves, uh, like Coach said, Coach Stu said, look at ourselves in the mirror and say what what can we do to get better and make that make sure that's our last game moving. John Hale. Of course, obviously there was so much talk about their passing game going into this, but they had a lot of success running the ball. Did that surprise you all? And and what does that say about the way you all played on defense? Uh, really, like I said earlier, they just came out and were, were more physical. You know, we was expecting drop back. Uh, I think LSU, they ran the ball a lot. And we, I, I can't say, we, we knew that they had a run scheme. But, you know, like I said, they were more physical and we, we, we weren't. John Wong. What is your mood right now? What is the mood of the team? What was it like in the locker room afterwards? Were they mad? Were they just what was going through their mind? Uh, I don't think we, we you know we were mad. You know, anytime you lose a game, we're mad. But we know we know what we could do. We know what we could do. We just got to get back to work. Larry Vaught. There wasn't a whole lot of pressure on the quarterback tonight. Was that good offensive line play by Mississippi State or something not right by the Kentucky defense? Uh, their offensive line, it was, they were blocking good. You know, we had some plays where we sent it and we didn't get there. So, you know, I got to give it up to the oh, offensive yeah. line. Time for one more if anybody's got one. All right, Jacko Thompson's with us. If you have questions for Wando, go ahead and raise your hand. Uh, Lonnie, you're up first. You're on mute, Lonnie. Oh, you took you so, hold on. You're on mute, Lonnie, still. No, he's there not. You go. Now talk. Wando, uh, the last couple of weeks, it appears that the I believe your question was, what were they doing to slow us down? Yeah, what, yeah what, what's been happening? Um, I, mean, I mean, really, we just have to get our run game going. That's something that we have to start up front. And um, then it comes out to us at the receiver spots and just being able to make plays on the outside. So um, at the end of the day, that's really what it is. It's us on executing and doing our jobs. Josh Moore. Yeah, I know you get a lot of stuff dialed up for you in particular, but is there anything to, you know, why why are you the only guy that Will can really consistently find? I mean, I don't, I couldn't really tell you. I mean, he has reads and his um, progressions and um, whatever he sees, he throws. And um, 
it's kind of how whatever our game plan is and um, whatever he's seeing out there, if he sees something and he feels like it's a matchup that I can win, then he's, I think he's going to give me the ball. So, John Hale. Wondell, just what's the mood in the locker room right now? How do you all avoid, you know, to get two losses in a row, this spiraling out of control? I mean, you just got to, we got to come back and work. I mean, at the end of the day, the, the world's not, a, the world's not falling. It's not over and anything like that. Um, we still have a chance to do some things that haven't been done around here in a long time. So um, we just have to come back to work and practice like we haven't the past couple of weeks and just come out with a different mentality than we have. So, Larry Vaught. Yeah, so Wondell, maybe explain just a little bit about what mentality you think that you need to come out with that maybe you didn't tonight. Um, just that aggression, just being the more dominant team, just going out there and knowing that we're going to be the more dominant team and not um, letting things happen and letting things come to us. And we just have to go out there and be the aggressor. So. And are teams playing you any different now to try to take away the big play from you? I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm getting somebody over the top and – um, sometimes even double teams and things like that. So, um, I mean, at the end of the day, just got to work around it and make plays. So. John Wong. Wondell, you've got Josh back. you got DeMarcus coming on strong. How much is that going to help you going forward now? I mean, I definitely think it'll help. I mean, obviously putting on film that other guys can make some catches and um, it can beat you too. So it'll help me. It'll help everybody in our receiver room. It'll help the tight ends and the running backs. I think it'll help everybody. So. Um, it's just good that everybody's kind of getting involved now. Josh Moore. There's a lot of talk about the, the preparation and, and everybody feeling good about this week. Did you get that sense that that was the case? And and, and what, you know, did, did anything feel flat today? Was there anything, you know, kind of a letdown at all emotionally today? I mean, it was just the outcome of the game. I mean, we had practiced for two weeks. We had practiced pretty well. Um, and then just this outcome of this game, we just didn't expect it. Um, we just got to come out hotter, so. Larry Vaught. One day when, when, when you're playing with a quarterback who struggled and didn't, and didn't have his best game, do you talk to him some? Do you leave him alone? What do you, what do you try to do, if anything, to help him? I mean, I'm going to give him his time to go ahead and regroup and do his thing. I know how I am after games like this. I don't, I don't really want to be talked to or things like that, so. Um, just letting him do his thing. And then once Monday comes, just knowing, letting him know that we all have his back and everybody, and he knows that um, we all got his back and we're going to do whatever we need to do to make sure that he's better and that we're all better. Nothing else in the queue, so we're going to let you go, Wondell. Thank you for your time. All right, thank you.